Good morning, friends. How are you all? Today we are going to talk about standard normal variable. So I'll share my computer screen with you. Which of these grids has a better relative position? A, a grade of 82 on a test with X bar equal to 85 and sample standard deviation S is equal to six. That was part A. Part B, a grade of 56 on a test with mean X bar equal to 60 and standard deviation S is equal to five. So we will calculate the standard normal variable or Z for each of these situations. So solution. Calculate Z score for each case. Okay. So Z score is given by Z. Z is equal to X minus, in this case, mean sample mean is X bar divided by sample standard deviation. So part A, Z score is X is 82. X bar is 85 with a standard deviation of six. So it is minus three over six is equal to minus 0 0.5. This means the score of 82 is 0 0.5 standard deviation below me, below the me, below why? Because Z score is negative, is negative. Okay, so it's 0.5 standard deviation below the me. Okay, now let's calculate the Z score for the second case. So, where am I? So, B. Z is equal to X minus X bar by S. So, X is 56 on a test with mean of 60 and standard deviation is 5. So 56 minus 60 is minus 4 divided by 5 minus 0 0.8. So this means the score of 56, 56 is 0 0.8 standard deviation below the mean, deviation below the mean. Now, if I show the Z scale on a number scale, number line basically, so, This is your number line, Z is equal to zero, is over here, and say minus one over here, minus two over here. On the left, on the right, this is one, this is two. Now our Z scores are minus 0.5, which is somewhere over here. And the other one is minus 0 0.8. So remember, on the left of 0, the farther you are away from 0, the more less the quantity is. So what do I mean by that? So 
that means minus that means minus 0 0.8 is less than minus 0 0.5 hence the first core hence the first core of of 82 has a higher z score okay <clears throat> or a better relative position or a better oops not so much better relative position because the z-score is higher than the second z-score. I'll stop here today. If you have any question, comment, please write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please share it with your friends. And please, you and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I'm coming back with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day.